Knicks at Raptors, 7.30, Scotiabank Arena, Toronto, Canada. The buy hat is engaged. Knicks, minus 12 and a half, one unit. This is the fourth matchup of the year between the Knicks and Raptors. And the Knicks are 3-0 straight up and ATS. Coming off the most recent game played in New York City on January 20th, an absolute blowout, 126 to 120. We don't think that's going to change on this number because the books are telling us a heavy, heavy story. In that game, the Knicks were laying 7.5 points at home, 12.5 on the road, indicating a blowout is coming, and the beautiful trends of the Knicks are worth discussing. The Knicks are 10-4 ATS on the road since the turn of the new year, and they are 9-0 ATS this year on the road against East Bottom Feeders. Atlanta, Brooklyn, Toronto, Charlotte, and Washington. If the Knicks see a team that is not of playoff quality, they come ready to play and they will hammer you. Motivation is right for the Knicks tonight. The Knicks are only a half game back of Cleveland for the three seed in the East, coming hard for that position and trying to hold off Orlando, who is only one game back of the Knicks for the four seed. Toronto is 1-11, last 12 ATS at home. Truly a sell team with a bottom feeder roster still waiting on R.J. Barrett and Emmanuel quickly to return. We expect a 20-point win tonight by the Knicks. The buy hat is engaged. NBA shot clock on this Wednesday. One unit. Let's dominate. We give out free picks every day on the fast-paced show NBA Shot Clock. But if you want to get my top plays, props, and parlays, you can do so by going to whylose.com slash shark. Capital Y, lose.com slash shark. Two words, let's dominate.